so for sure here yeah. when we see the ivc assessment we need to know which the uh, which part of the probe has to be uh, used in 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 what way this is the pointer of the probe the pointer of the probe should always be kefalic mm. not caudal okay then we'll take the probe the the echocardiography probe and then we place it this is the xiphoid process and we place it just down we just place it down and this pointer is presenting kefalic and when we see here we have to rotate it so that this we have to slightly rotate it so this see this is called the this is called a slide there are two movements one is sliding movement one is gliding movement of the probe mm -hmm. so this is sliding movement mm -hmm. and this is gliding movement this is gliding movement and if i move away this is a sliding movement so with these two movements you will just try to focus when you see here you have to do, see the sliding and the gliding movement and then try to get this picture the perfect picture is where you see the ivc this is the inferior vena cava this is the opening of the hepatic vein and this is the right atrium so it's very clear out here that and we have to see everything in one in one picture see i'm trying to open you can you can move clockwise and anti clockwise okay see now we have seen the ivc but the hepatic vein this is the ivc this is the ra but the hepatic vein opening is not coming out so we have to make a picture where the hepatic vein opening is there see now the hepatic vein opening is coming up we have to go 1.5 cm away from the opening of the hepatic vein here and then we have to press the m mode this is the m mode you have to press the m mode see this has come so this is this is our ivc now we just need to Measure. we have to use the caliper go here select bring it down select 1.19 always go with three consecutive readings never go with one reading we have to take the average of the three the second reading is coming around 1.02 the third reading should come you have to see the maximum and the minimum diameters out here so i have taken three readings one is 1.36 one is 1.02 one is 1.19 we need a mean of the three so we have to add up all the three divided by 3 to see the mean Value. diameter Diamond. if the diameter is less than 1.5 that means the patient is hypovolemic mm -hmm. if the diameter is more than 1.5 we have to judge whether we have to give fluids or not no. 1.5 to 2 we can still go for some fluids but above 2 no, no fluids mm -hmm. we have to see two indexes here one is called the collapsibility index the other is called the distensibility index okay. collapsibility index is nothing but the maximum diameter minus minimum diameter divided by maximum diameter so if i see here the maximum diameter is 1.36 the minimum diameter is 1.02 so i'll be like 1.36 minus 1.02 divided by 1.36 okay. and the collapsibility index if it is more than 60% we have to multiply by 100 if it is more than 60% patient is more likely to be fluid responsive okay. if it is less than 50% the patient is very less likely to be fluid responsive okay. so we have to take this three readings and then do the calculations of the collapsibility index and the distensibility index okay. if the collapsibility index is more than 50% patient is will be fluid responsive if the collapsibility index is less than 50% patient won't be fluid responsive okay. and then we have the distensibility index which has got its own importance okay. so this is in short the ivc assessment okay. stop it stop it